Howdy folks, welcome back to the Forge Tome. Today we're talking about power, as in, I don't have it. I should be connected over there. Riddle me this, seeing as I'm not connected to that pole out there, how on earth is this possible? Woo! It's not magic. Well, it's kind of magic. I have harnessed the power of the sun, which we have an abundance of here in the desert, and with the help of the home integration kit from Goal Zero, I'm running the cabin off-grid, which is awesome. Let me show you how I did it. This is a Goal Zero 3000 power station. It's an older model, but I've been using the smaller stations to charge batteries and my phone on site for a while now. But this big beast opened up tons of possibilities. Having the Gold Zero was a crucial step in this process, but to run it properly, I needed a few other pieces of kit for the setup. All right, I think that's everything. The first piece we need to address is the ProTran manual transfer switch. This will eventually plug into our Gold Zero, as well as get wired into my existing house wiring. Side note, let's just remember that when I got this property, it had already been wired internally with outlets and switches, the whole shebang. All of that wiring has been run to the breaker box, but it obviously hasn't been connected. I'm not sure why, but who cares? Anywho, back to the switch. It comes with everything you'll need to patch the system into your existing wiring, complete with instructions and written in nice, friendly letters, a reminder to have a qualified electrician install it. The reason they want you to absolutely get a certified electrician to install these is that typically these are done as backup generators for an on-the-grid home. If you try to set it up yourself while being on the grid, you not only run the risk of electrifying yourself and having a real bad day, but also backfeeding the grid power, potentially causing a really bad day for any of the line workers servicing your area. Don't be a dingus. Be safe. Now that we've got the safety talk out of the way, we're going to install the transfer switch. I read over the very short instruction manual taking note of every wire and connection being referenced. The breakers are rated for 15 to 20 amp with the option of switching out the AB positions for a larger breaker, say a 30 amp, in the future. Since I wasn't switching anything out, I made sure the outlet was wired correctly and took the whole box over to my main service panel for mounting. There were four breakers on the switch, and lucky for me, I only have five lines coming from the house wiring. Whoever wired the house was kind enough to use some of the wiring sleeve as a label for each run. I selected four of the wires, not the AC line since I don't have one, and capped the fifth for safety's sake. I mounted the included conduit onto the bottom of the switch, threading the wires out the end and up through the punch out on the bottom of the service panel. Following the diagram in the instruction pamphlet, I attached the green ground line to the ground bar and the white wire to the neutral bar. And the black wires conveniently labeled A, B, C, and D to a corresponding house wire. I didn't have to pick a specific wire for this, and here's why. Each black wire has a partner red wire. Black A, red A, and so on. For a system with existing circuit breakers, these need to be installed between the house wiring and the corresponding breaker. The black is the direct, and the red is effectively a bypass for when you switch between the grid and generator mode. I made sure I had a nice connection between each of the wires before adding a twist cap to finish. I looped the wiring into the open area of the box, being mindful not to pinch or crush anything in the process. Closed up the box, and onto the foam part. I placed the Goal Zero inside the cabin, which meant I needed to drill a hole to attach the cables to the box and the solar tank. Boop! Not my cleanest work, but that's why I bought these. This is temporary after all. Install the plate, cover, and that'll do. After that, I ran the extension cable from the Goal Zero out and into the switch. Since the power station already had a little bit of charge, I switched the breakers over to generator, turned on the Gold Zero's outlet, and flipped my light switch for the first time. From here, it's all about accessorizing. The Maker Ranch crew had some of these 100 watt panels as well as one briefcase style panel I could mount to the roof. 
and after grabbing some extension cables, I was able to plug those into the charging port of the power bank. I also had access to these big boards, expansion batteries that'll help store another 4,800 watt hours to the system. They daisy chain together and plug into the back of the Goal Zero. Luckily, this particular power bank already had the expansion module to accept the extra banks. So that's it. Now I can turn the lights on and the ceiling fan. I can use all of the outlets. I can charge batteries, all while I'm working on the rest of the renovation. How cool is that? Now that you've seen how I did it, let's talk brass tacks. First thing, this system or something similar can be costly, but depending on your needs, it still might be cheaper than connecting to the grid. I had access to this specific Goal Zero setup and it's gonna be a huge help for me in the future, at least until I get connected to city power, which I have to do for my coding and zoning of single family residents. Speaking of grid power, the solar setup has limitations that the grid power does not. It's fantastic for an off-grid cabin, maybe a small workshop like Mike's, or a backup generator, which is this system's intended use. But if you plan on plugging in any large appliances or anything that's too heavy on the system, you may have issues with things like not being able to store enough power or not even be able to run the thing that you're trying to run. That said, there are tons of options and plenty of solutions out there. This was one, do your research, figure out what you want, get it done. Well, that's it for me. It's getting late. I'm gonna go inside, enjoy my lights, cool down under my ceiling fan. It's gonna be good. See you next time, folks, on Forged Home. <laughs>